another. Look, the military says we need a smaller, leaner army. We need more special forces. We need. We don't need more M1 tanks. What we need is more UAVs. Some of the military. I know that's not some support. of the military. That was the decision of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, recommended to us and agreed to by the president. Who answered that are the a facts. civilian leader? They made the recommendation first. Okay. We don't want to lose the gains we've gotten. We want to make sure that the Taliban does not come back in and give Al Qaeda a safe haven. We agree with the administration on their 2014 transition. Look, when I think about Afghanistan, I think about the incredible job that our troops have done. You've been there more than the two of us combined. First time I was there in 2002, it was amazing to me what they were facing. We do agree with the timeline and the transition, but what, we, what, what any administration will do in 2013 is assess the situation to see how best to complete this timeline. We what we do not want to do in 20. What we do not want to do is give our allies reason to trust us less and our enemies more. In, we don't want to embolden our enemies to hold and wait out for us and then take over the Martha. Country. That's a bizarre. That's why statement. we want to make sure. No, unless you set a timeline, Baghdad in the case of Iraq and and uh, uh, Kabul, in the case of Afghanistan, will not step up. They're happy to let us continue to do the job. International security forces do the job. The only way they step up is say, fellas, we're leaving. We've trained you. Step up. Step up. Let, let, me, let me go That's back. That's the only way it works. We want to make sure that 2014 is successful. That's why we want to make sure that we give our commanders what they say they need to make it successful. We don't want to extend beyond 2014. That's the point we're making. You know, if it was just this, I feel like we would, we would be able to call this a success. But it's not. What we are witnessing as we turn on our television screens these days is the absolute unraveling of the Obama foreign policy. Problems are growing at home, but, job, but problems are growing abroad, but jobs aren't growing here at home.